Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're gonna to show you guys how to take off the shocks here on the Razor 1000. I know it's a pretty easy concept for most people, but if you've never done it, this will be a quick tip of how to do it really quickly. So down here, these are 18 millimeter bolts, and then 18 millimeter bolts on the inside and out. So what I do is I take the tire off right here. So the reason the tire's off, and then I'll set it down on a jack stand. If you can take it off, you can actually get the impact straight on it. It'll make it a little easier on you. So we'll run through it, show you guys without further ado. Right here on the bottom, just you can take a stench. I got a stench in just for the top one. I didn't feel like taking it off. Take your 18 millimeter wrench, put it on the other side, and put it in reverse. We'd also like to show you, if you look at my shock, the reason we bought some new ones is because you can rebuild them, but look at the way this thing is. Look at the way it's tilted in there. Really huge bent from there. I don't know what it hit on, but it tore up the inside. So we're assuming that everything inside is probably tore up. So we just bought two new shocks. Well, bought two used ones off eBay. We'll throw them on there for now. Uh, if we want to we'll get those rebuilt, but this one started leaking as you guys can see. We're gonna take it off and see how bad it actually is, guys. But besides that, hey, let's jump into finishing this. So the bottom one is off. Now the problem with the top one, it's way up here behind this. You got the fender in the way, you got everything else. I'm gonna try to do it with a swivel and then stenching, but I might have to just do them by hand. I just used a little swivel on the end of it like this. You guys should probably use the impact one, smarter idea, because mine came apart, but we're not always the smartest one because we are off-roaders. And just like that, ta-da, shock is out. They have a bottom piece that you put back on the other one, but you guys can see ours is leaking everywhere. So we're going to replace it. Make sure you have them on the right position. You have these tubes back. Sliding them in. And that is it, guys. We got the bottom bolt back in top one back in now we'll put the tire back on set it down readjust your shock if we want it higher or lower and this is the adjustment right here but besides that guys that is it as we put the one bolt down here the one bolt up top both of them 18 millimeter if you got a swivel on there just be careful it doesn't fling off on you but besides that it's a quick easy way to take them off and put them on it takes about five minutes to change out shocks if you've never done them before so it's very easy to do if you guys get a new one or take them off and send them in if you guys have an easier way or something simpler to do it, let me know, comment below. But that's all you got to do to take a shock off and put a new one on. See you guys in the next one.